Hey gang, I have got a package from Harriet's Plants. And this is such good timing. I've just got home from work and I was literally thinking on my way home, I need to get a video filmed for Sunday because this week is my double upload week and I haven't, <laughs> I haven't yet got a video filmed for Sunday. And then I get home and this is waiting for me in my safe place. I'm so excited. It's heavier than I thought it was going to be. But let's, let's, let's find out what's inside. I mean, I know what's inside. <laughs> but let me unbox it so that you can find out what's inside. I'm so excited. Okay, how to open this. The, my address is written on the box, so I'm going to try really hard not to like flash that at you. Okay, so far so good. So if you've not heard of Harriet's plants before, Harriet is so passionate about homegrown plants. Like she grows lots of house plants and outdoor plants, I think, here in the UK. And her passion for being as sustainable as possible is just amazing. Like she is peat free, like she's never grown in peat all of her plants are just like grown by her like she has these amazing like greenhouses I don't know what this was and she just does such a wonderful job I don't know like how many staff she has if any I've only ever really seen her <laughs> she does such a good job and I'm excited this is what it looks like inside peat free peat free people so I've bought these plants, um, I've bought them, I will have Harriet's website linked below and she, um, I've, speaking to, uh, yeah, words. I've been speaking to her through Instagram so I'll also have her Instagram account as well. The detail on here is amazing. On the inside of here it's got so much information about the plant care and the packaging and like all of the packaging is completely recyclable. She's like a sustainable queen honestly like just amazing let's get into the plants okay I've shown you what it looks like haven't I so we've got the packing peanuts and I can see that plants are wrapped up in this like this, I think packing peanuts have gone everywhere I think suppliers often call this stuff um, like paper bubble wrap it's like Kind of, I don't know. I don't know how you describe it. I'm gonna need my scissors. Okay. So we got some string. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh. So this, the plants in here, maybe one of them probably isn't really classed as it, but the plants in here are like more unusual house plants. Oh my. Okay, this is quite wet. <laughs> wow, okay. I don't know how to remove, I'm not gonna remove the tissue, but there's some tissue on top. So this is a Ripsalis. I can't remember the type of Ripsalis that it is. I will find out and have it on the screen. This is why it's so weighty, it's very, very wet. I think these are the kind of plants that like you leave for a really long time and then like you give them a really good like drench. So that's probably what's happened. Right. I'm gonna put you over here. I love like I love jungle cacti. Like I've got my fern leaf cactus and my fishbone cactus, and I would just like more jungly trailing plants. Hence why I have this ripsalis. Let's find out what else we have. Ooh, this one's in like a cocoa choir pot. Can you see the texture of the pot? Now, this is the plant that I originally reached out to Harriet about, because I'd seen, I'd seen on a different website that I, I was looking for this plant, but they were sold out, but it said on that website that it was stocked by Harriet's plants. So I messaged her and was like, do you? happen to have any of these plants and you probably can't really tell what it is but it's another ripsalis 
and it is the Ripsalis. Oh, words. It is the Ripsalis Paradoxa, and it's like I don't know if it's called the Ripsalis Paradoxa Major, but there's like a minor one. So like they're kind of they look like chain links, and I used to have the minor one, but I've always wanted the big one, like the the chunkier one. So that is what this is, and it almost looks like it's a bit sun stressed on this bit. Like it's it's got pinky edges. I'm so, so happy to have this in my collection now. So, so, so happy. I think, yeah, I was gonna say, I did order two. I didn't know if like she'd potted two together, but I can see that this is another one. So I would like, I'd like a blushy babe. Obviously it's little at the moment. But I'm hoping it'll grow really lovely and long. Ooh, look at her. <gasps> so cute so i will eventually pop these two together <laughs> i love it they're so, they're so like stubby oh so cute oh. and i think these are like probably similar to my fishbone and fern leaf cactus in that they're so easy to propagate you just like snip a bit and plant it and it just grows and there's one more in here and this is the one that might be a little bit more common, but when I realised that Harriet had it, I really needed to add it to my collection. So this is a Hoya Matilde. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh. She's so cute. I think this Hoya is one of those ones that can like... Um, depending on the light, be darker. So you can probably see these ones are quite light, but like this one at the back is quite dark. And it's got a little bit of splashiness on it. If you have any experience with Hoya Matilde and whether it's like, I want it to be darker. So if you have any experience and you know whether it's like more light or less light that it needs to be darker, please let me know. There's like one, two, three growth points on here. Oh, they're so cute. <gasps> I'm so happy to have those plants, like the Ripsalis Paradoxa. So excited to have, to have that plant in my collection. Oh, if you've got any tips, please let me know. Like I want long, long trailing, long and trailing. Like, do I need to put this in direct sunlight? Not direct sunlight. Please let me know. I'm guessing the other Ripsalis will be similar, similar care. Give me tips on all of them if you have them. So I will have Harriet's shop link down below. Again, I did buy these plants for myself with my money and I'm just really happy to support her business. She's got such wonderful values and we need more people like her in the plant community. I think she's doing such a wonderful job at growing UK green plants, peat free, chemical free like she's doing such a good job so check her out i'll have a link down below thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye